this is Lindy from Love Create Celebrate. Today I'm going to show you how we made this vertical shiplap wall. I'm really excited because this whole project was done for less than $500 and it turned out amazing. Soon we're going to show you a desk tutorial, but for now we're going to show you how we did the wall. We started with a 4x8 sheet of quarter inch plywood. Depending on how big your wall is, you may need more than one sheet, and we just needed two for ours. The next thing you're going to want to do is prime that sheet so it's ready for paint later on. This doesn't look like much yet, but this is the wall that our vertical shiplap is going to be on. We knew we wanted the shiplap to end at that top stair tread, so we measured that and wanted to make our board 71 inches high. To do this, we marked 71 inches on our plywood board and then ran it through the table saw and cut it down to size. Through a little bit of trial and error, we decided that we wanted the slats in our shiplap wall to be three inches wide. So the next thing we did was set the table saw to three inches and run the plywood board through over and over again until it was all cut down to three inch pieces. This may be a two person job if you have an extra set of hands. At this point we chose to prime the sides of all of our shiplap pieces, but you don't have to do that if you have a high quality top coat paint. Um, this was just something that we chose to do. What I would suggest doing at this point is putting on a layer of that top coat paint or whatever you color you want your shiplap wall to be. We didn't do that and I regretted it after. So definitely put a layer of paint on now if you can. Also, I would suggest putting a layer of paint on the wall behind where your shiplap will be. It's another thing that we didn't do that I wish we had. When your boards are painted and ready, it's time to start putting up your vertical shiplap. To put our shiplap up on the wall, we first put a construction adhesive on the back of the shiplap, which I'll link to in the description below. We put the construction adhesive on the back to prevent the boards from warping later on or from bowing on the wall. Now you're ready to put that first board up on the wall. You want to use a construction level to make sure that that board is perfectly level because if not, it's going to mess with your entire vertical shiplap wall. If your first board is going into the corner of a wall, often your corners won't be perfectly true. So you want to measure three inches off the widest part of the whole wall and that will let you know how much you have to cut off the top or the bottom of that board to make it straight. Once your boards are true, you can start nailing them to the wall with a nail gun. Since we hadn't painted our wall yet, the sides of our shiplap slats were still rough, so we took some time to sand each edge as we were putting the boards up on the wall. The pieces of tape above the wall are showing you where the studs are. You want to nail right into the studs whenever you can. We used a nickel as our spacer between each of the boards, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. Because your boards won't always hit a stud, we tried to make sure that we put the nails in at two different angles. This ensures that your shiplap board is held tightly against the wall while you're waiting for the construction adhesive to set. If you come across an outlet on the wall, you're going to have to cut your shiplap board so that it goes around the outlet. You would cut this hole out for the outlet the same way that you would cut a hole out for drywall. We first measured the distance onto our shiplap board and then you can use a handheld saw like a jigsaw to cut out that piece or you can use what we like to use which is our handheld dremel with a flat blade. boards up on the wall in just a couple of hours. It took us about two hours to do this wall and it was about seven and a half feet wide.
So here's our finished wall all ready for paint. But before we paint, we first wanted to put up some brackets. Because our shiplap wall was gonna have two floating shelves above it, we wanted to make sure the brackets were in place and aligned before we painted everything. If you wanna see the brackets, how we're doing that later, we'll have another post about the whole desk and floating shelves soon. The next step before you get to painting is to putty and fill all of the nail holes that you made. Make sure that you don't get any putty into the slats between the vertical shiplap boards because obviously that would take away from the shiplap look. When the putty dries, just sand it all flat and now you're ready to apply paint. Once I was ready to paint, I started by edging the one wall we had and then painting around all of the tricky spots like our brackets and our outlet. And yes, you are seeing that right. I chose to paint our shiplap wall black. Once you've done those sections, you can start using a roller to paint all the spots in between. You'll see right away here why I suggested painting behind your shiplap wall first, because when we painted with black, we really could see all of the white between the slats, and we couldn't get our roller to get the paint in there. So we had to do a little bit of problem solving at that point. If you happen to make the same mistake that we did, we found that a little tiny handheld paintbrush was the only way to get paint into those cracks and not take away from the shiplap look. So we painted in the cracks and then went over all of the cracks with our roller once again to make sure it was nice and smooth on the surface. It was very tedious, but in the end, it looked perfect. This vertical black shiplap was exactly what I wanted in the space and I loved it as soon as it was up on the wall. But once we had the desk in place and the floating shelves, it just looked amazing. It was the perfect use of this space and I loved the shiplap. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below and hit that bell so you can be notified about future home renovation and DIY videos.